hello friends in this session we are going to see about uh, inverters we have different types of inverters but this but in this session we are going to see only about uh, single phase inverters first of all you will see what is called inverter see inverter is nothing but a circuit which converts uh, dc power into ac power with desired output voltage depending upon our uh, application with desired output voltage and frequency i repeat a circuit which converts DC power into AC power at desired output voltage and frequency is called as inverters. See the input to the inverter. The input to the inverter as we already know it is DC. This DC power can be obtained from any existing power supply network or it may be from a battery or a fuel cell or even uh, it may be from a photovoltaic array. Uh, as we already know photovoltaic array the in output will be DC. This can also be given as an input to the inverter. See in this inverter circuit we will be using uh, uh, many uh, power converters such as BJT, MOSFET, IGBT. Also we will be using SCRs, silicon controlled rectifiers. We will be using this SCRs. This SCR is also called as thyristor also called as thyristor. The symbol of the thyristor is will be similar to that of the diode but you will be having additional terminal called as gate, gate terminal. This thyristor can be uh, used as a switch. This thyristor can be used as a switch uh, by controlling the gate input. What is gate? Gate or uh, pulse input you will see. Gate, gate pulse you will see uh, there are different circuits that can generate this gate pulse for simplicity I will just draw see here uh, this is a this is a waveform where where you will be having some voltage above zero let it be 5 volt if if uh, this 5 volt appears across this gate then this switch will be in the on state. If I remove this 5 volt, if it is 0 volt, then again it, it moves to the off state. Uh, so I can control this device, I can control this thyristor with the help of this gate pulse uh, in, in simple fashion if you see. Also turning off this uh, thyristor is not an easy task. Uh, if I bring this voltage or uh, this pulse signal to zero, uh, this thyristor will not instantaneously uh, turn off. So you require additional circuitry uh, for turning off this uh, thyristor also. The process of turning off is called as commutation. The process of turning off is called as commutation. So you require uh, different types of commutation circuitry to turn off the thyristor. For simplicity, we are uh, avoiding the uh, pulse generation scheme and also the commutation schemes. The major application of inverter or induction heating, uh, it can be used for a temporary supply in an aircraft power supply and it is mainly used in home UPS systems. Now we will see the working of off-bridge inverter. When the thyristor T1 is turned on with the help of IG1, when the thyristor T1 is turned on with the help of IG1, current from this Vs by 2 source will flow in this direction and goes through the positive of the load and it will reach the negative terminal of the battery. So when T1 is conducting, when T1 is on, when T1 is on, current flows through the positive of the load. So whatever voltage is applied here, that will be falling across the load as V0. See here in this diagram, whatever voltage is applied, the voltage falls here until T1 is conducting. At this instant, I am turning on T2. At this instant, I am turning on T2. So my thyristor T2 is turned on simultaneously. See, if you see, simultaneously, the thyristor T1 is turned off in this position. In this time T1 is turned turned off so when T2 is conducting power will be transferred 
in this direction current flow will be in this direction that is current flows from the source and it go through the negative terminal of the load and T2 conducts and it reaches the negative of the battery so my voltage will be in the negative direction as shown in the waveform again T1 is turned on so it, it uh, the voltage will shift to the positive then this cycle repeats this is when the load is not varying when the load is uh, restive load uh, this will happen uh, this conduction of diode D1 and D2 will happen only when the load changes if it is for example if we are using RLC load RLC load uh, we have two cases one is over damping there is a case called as over damp uh, damped load or under damped load under damped load in these two cases this diode D1 and D2 will be conducting when diode D1 and D2 are conducting current will be flowing from I will draw yeah. current will be flowing from load to the source current will be flowing from load to the source also here current will be flowing from a load to the source in this direction so these two diodes are called as the feedback diodes mainly used for production when we when we are using different types of loads heavy loads this is about the working of half bridge inverter now we will see the working of full bridge inverter in full bridge inverter we will be using four thyristors and four feedback diodes thyristor T1 and T2 are triggered here and thyristor T3 and T4 are triggered here so when thyristor T1 and T2 are turned on thyristor T1 and T2 are turned on current from the supply will flow in this direction and it enters the positive of the load thyristor T2 will be conducting and it reaches the negative of the load so whatever voltage is applied here that will fall across the load so I am getting the voltage Vs here at this particular instant when I turn off T1 and T2 T3 and T4 are turned on so so there is a, a change in the current current direction so here current flows to T3 and it flows through the negative of the load and it T4 conducts and it reaches the negative of the source so current flows through the negative of the load when T3 and T4 are conducting so my voltage will also be negative again T1 and T2 are conducting so as, as in the case uh, previous case current flows through the positive and voltage will also be in positive so this cycle continues here we have four diodes um, similar way this operation depends upon the load where conduction depends upon the load uh, power is transferred from load to the source when they are conducting when we have different types of uh, uh, RLC loads this is about the basic working of thank you we will see in the next session